this one says, uh, there has been a great fuse anytime news break out that a church has built an auditorium or buy a jet that people say why isn't the money directed to charity my question is this is the church meant for charity and if not why is there so much emphasis on charity all right first of all the, the church is meant to show the love of christ all right and then within the um, within their capacity they can practice philanthropy but the church is not meant for charity if you are with me say amen, amen. the church is meant to show the love of christ and love is demonstrated first by giving and within the capacity of the church within the financial or material capacity of the church they can practice philanthropy but the church is not meant for charity. And you see, a lot of people come to church with different motives. Sir, there are people who come to church hoping that church will pay their bills, give them food to eat, do everything for them. Entitlement mentality. Those kinds of members are toxic members. And if you are a pastor here, don't allow your vision to be driven by the need of those people because they will never be satisfied. That's the generation of the wilderness. And let me even add, if you are a pastor here, let there be a limit to your philanthropic activities. You can't do for people what only God can do for them. Please, no spiritual leader or pastor should carry all the responsibility of any individual. You were not born for that. You were not called for that. We can do that and forget the greatest need, which is their spiritual life. We can buy houses for people give them food, do everything for them and they still die and go to hell because their souls are not saved. So the church should focus on that. However, Jesus taught us to practice love. We shouldn't take our eyes away from the other needs that comes with the people. But every church or every ministry should have a structure and a system for the financial or material needs of the people and operate within that structure. Now to the question. Um, you see, uh, buying of jets or building of cathedrals to a large extent is not for showmanship. No. Every church that built a bigger cathedral had already outgrown the former one most of the time. I remember, let me take an example from the body of Christ in Nigeria here. Uh, Dunamis International Gospel Center by, led by God's servant, Dr. Paul Enenche. You will recall, those of you who may have followed the ministry or are members there, you will recall that when they were at their headquarters at Area 1, there were times during their conferences where the overflow congregation will fill the road such that it's a, it's a, it's a government road, though, but people cannot pass because people are sitting there it became a problem so they saw the need to build a bigger a bigger you know hall that can fit in their capacity so you see that building of halls and buying of private jets or aeroplanes is not generally because of extravagancy or luxury it is actually to accommodate a need when you are a pastor and you preside close to 50 from 50 to 100 branches you will need to travel again and again to check on them. The fact that you have branch pastors there does not mean that the flock don't need your presence. Sometimes they will need to see you around. And if you... We are not in Dubai where the roads are free or in London or in United States. There is no city that doesn't have traffic. Another example is our daddy, uh, Daddy Jewel. They have several hundreds of branches in Lagos alone, Redeem. And if you know Lagos very well, the traffic situation in Lagos has been for many decades. If they invite him to go and preach in one parish and he enters, hold up and remains there, by the time he gets to the church, they have finished the service. At that point, a helicopter is not a luxury. It will help. He can be lifted from the camp straight to that place 
finish and even he can go to five branches in one day and bless them all right by the time god increases the ministry to a point where they can go about doing crusades and holding campaigns you realize that the pastor will need to go with a team he will need to go with prayer warriors he will need to go with counselors he will need to go with pastors he will need to go with medical professionals all of these people you cannot be flying a normal aeroplane or a commercial service with all these people they can delay your flight they can cancel your flight yeah, they'll cancel your flight before that's why you complain that pastors are flying private jets you've not waited in the airport for six hours and then they cancel that flight when it happens to you you will now see the need for it amen so generally don't join people to raise dust every time people are complaining about those things sometimes it's just um, um respectfully speaking it's just jealousy it's just jealousy and you see when you when somebody has what you don't have fighting him will not help matters the best thing to do is admire what they have and celebrate the progress they are making because of what they have if i don't have a car and someone else has a car he has certain advantages to it i shall i can admire the car and celebrate the progress that person is making with that someday my car will come but complaining about it or spreading rumor about it will not stop god who is the blesser from blessing them so generally the church is not meant for philanthropic activities no the church is meant to cater for the spiritual needs of the believers but we can show the love of god and extend philanthropic services to the extent of the of our capacity thank you